Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put together a quick video. This is in, this is um, a continuation of the video I posted uh, yesterday about these, uh, you know, Paul Saladino being on that show, The Doctors. And what I want to do is I want to make kind of a syllogistic argument about the difference between this Harvard food plate um, diet that uh, Dr. Joel Kahn promotes versus a carnivore diet. Now, I want to I wanted to talk, just talk about the logic and the reasoning behind either. OK. The one thing that I am going to I am going to say, this is the this is the table of contents, you know, standard American diets like the worst. I'm going to go on into this. OK, the standard American diet, if you take a look at it, right. I mean, the this right here is kind of what it looks like. And this is what you get out of it. And I don't think anybody can really argue with that. So anything is better than this. And, 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 I, and I think we can agree on that. Okay, now, real quick, the Harvard food plate diet syllogistic argument. Now, when you look at this, there, there's a couple of premises here that is promoted with this way of eating that whole plant foods are highly beneficial and perhaps essential. Okay. And that animal based are undesirable, harmful to health, or perhaps not necessary at all. Okay. Now this is what I gather from what they say. So this is the the premises that I'm I'm going from what I gather from what they say. They don't they don't lay it out like this, but I'm trying to boil this down to where it's very very simple to understand. Now the inferences here are that you know you should do you know a diet based diet on whole foods, minimize animal foods. Okay, those are the inferences and the conclusion. This is right off Dr. Joel Kahn's uh, blog or whatever. You see the fruits and the vegetables. See a little bit of animal products. See a little egg there and, you know, maybe a piece of fish or whatever. But really, most of your protein that they're talking about is mostly like beans and, and nuts and stuff like this. And then you have whole grains. Okay. Now, this argument is indeed valid because... The conclusion is supported by the premise, premises and the inferences. But is it sound? And a point about a sound argument is a sound argument requires that the premises be true. But are they true? Now, that's where we got to come into right here. Now, this is my critique. OK, both premises of this argument are based on associative and correlation relationships. Okay. All these studies that they show up, you'll always notice, listen for the words, this meat is associated with that. Blah, blah, blah is associated with that. Now, many, many people have pointed this out, but this is something that's absolutely true. Correlation can never be used to prove causation ever. I don't care if you have a million studies with a billion test subjects. It cannot be used for that period. End of story. And to my knowledge, there is no proof of either of these premises. There is no proof that shows a causation. OK, and if you have some, you can put them in the comments below. Therefore, the Harvard food plate argument is not sound. OK, period. End of story. It's not a sound argument. OK, the carnivore diet syllogistic argument. Now, this is what I'm understanding from from people who promote this. And this is also the way I would frame the argument if I were in a debate. Plant foods are not necessarily 
are not necessary for human nutrition, for human health, okay? Animal products are not proven to be harmful. And all essential nutrients can be obtained from animal foods, okay? The inference is there's no reason to eat plants. Freely consume animal products. Okay, and the conclusion is some steak and eggs here. Doesn't that look yummy? But anyway, now, all of these premises right here are easily falsifiable with clinical cases. Somebody could come out and say, oh, well, this person wasn't eating um, fruits and they had a vitamin C deficiency because of it and their teeth are falling out. Easily falsifiable. And one of the things is, is that from what I've read, you don't need much vitamin C. And if you're worried about scurvy, eating fresh meat, you don't get scurvy. A lot of these guys that are doing carnivore diets would have scurvy if that were the case. Um, there's nothing to say that animal-based uh, products are bad for you. Nothing. There's no proof that it's a carcinogen or anything like that. These are all associative studies. And all the nutrients, okay, these are easily falsifiable. Science on the efficacy of, of any long-term eating plan is not settled. Period. End of story. So, in my mind, syllogistically, the carnivore diet is much stronger. You know, from a syllogistic standpoint of argument, this is a much better uh, argument for a diet. Okay. Um, now we're going to get to, this is just, this is really more of a speculation. This really isn't about an argument, but which one of these diets and ways of eating would you think are easier to follow? Now, if you look at this one over here, and I've done a diet very similar to this before. And for me, it is absolutely dreadful. I could never get full on this diet. I could never get satisfied. Now, some people may do well on this, but these whole grains and all this other kind of stuff, even though this fruit and stuff like this is sweet and it may give you a little bit of a, you know, of a, you know, be good for the taste buds or whatever, but it really doesn't do anything. I would eat this stuff and, you know, an hour and a half or, or whatever later, I would be terribly hungry. Now, this, on the other hand, you eat that right there and you're going to be satisfied for a while. And this is the reason that I think the carnivore diet is a lot easier to deal with. If you go to the grocery store, all you need for this is maybe some good, like clarified butter or beef towel or something to fry those eggs in. And then you can just grill the steak or maybe put it in the oven or whatever, you know, broil it or whatnot or on the grill. And, but this right here, I mean, look at all this different stuff you got to buy. Then you got to prepare all this. And it keeps saying, if you notice, plenty of vegetables. And they, they talk on the website about it being a variety. So you got to get different types of stuff. You can't just eat beef like a lot of carnivores do. So that's the reason that I think, you know, that I lean toward this side is because I think it's good for you. And it's also, you know, it's easy to do. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, put in my two cents worth on that and try to boil this down so people can understand. Now, if you've got an issue with any of this, let me know. Have a good day. And if you would, like, like and share the video.